What is going on guys, we're back with another video and here today talking some Dragon Ball Super stuff and uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more Dragon Ball Super reviews and discussions and Dragon Ball Super things on channel because I actually created the channel in mind that I'll be doing more anime stuff because I'm a big fan of anime guys, not just Dragon Ball Super but I love uh, like Tokyo Ghoul, Attack on Titans, My Hero Academia, old school stuff of course like Full Metal Alchemist and Yasha Yu Yu Hakusho, I'm a fan of just anime and this channel was supposed to be created, well the channel was created uh, within with the idea in mind that I'll do a lot of anime stuff, but you know Dokken Battle was just so hot And I just love the damn game. I just kind of like blew up Dokken Battle my channel and uh, but you know to be fair I actually started uh, doing a lot of anime stuff like a lot of super reviews back in the day But uh, I kind of got away from that because Dokken Battle just saturated my entire channel and it just took it over but uh, I really want to get back into the reviews and doing a lot of anime stuff because I'm a fan guys I love anime. I'm just oh my god. I love it. I love it guys and I do want to at least do a couple videos a week, anime related, not just Dokken Battle or anything else, but just anime. So I hope you guys don't mind. I hope that's something that you guys uh, will appreciate or at least, you know, give a chance and we'll see how it goes. But Dragon Ball Super episode 91, guys, just aired yesterday and we have the first, the first, well, the first canon female Super Saiyan. Now, I'll actually look back a couple episodes of, uh, a couple episodes of going Super. And Kal Khalifa isn't technically the first female Super Saiyan because if you remember, I think it was Dragon Ball Super Episode 9, Videl actually went Super Saiyan in the uh, Super Saiyan God ritual to turn Goku into Super Saiyan God. Now, that wasn't really explained as to why she went Super Saiyan. I mean, of course, she wasn't Super Saiyan in terms of like she has the Super Saiyan multiplier and she can like, you know, fight on, fight on par with Vegeta and Gohan and Goku. That's not the kind of Super Saiyan she turned into. It was just like... They did, they did a ritual and I guess the Saiyan energy transferred over to her, changing her hair color and giving her Super Saiyan eyes. But of course, when the ritual is over, she went back into her base form. But if you want to count that, technically Khalifa is the second Super Saiyan, technically. You know, because Videl went Super Saiyan, right? No. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, so Khalifa is officially the first Saiyan, full-blooded Saiyan that is a Super Saiyan as a female. So she is the first Either way you want to slice it guys, and this is going to happen in episode 92 and I'm excited guys. The preview for episode 92, Kaba training Khalifa to turn Super Saiyan. I am excited guys. This is like, this is historic right here. This is historic, you know why? Because it is the first, you know, not counting Videl, not counting Videl because she's not a Saiyan. It is the first full-blooded Saiyan female Super Saiyan. Very interesting stuff. Now. Uh, I'm probably going to play the preview on the back of the screen behind me somewhere and you can just kind of view that. I'll just like dim it or something so I don't get copyrighted. But uh, you know, it was very interesting with uh, Kaba training her. It's kind of funny how he's training Khalifa but not Kale because Kale of course, from what we see in the preview of Dragon Ball Super is going to be the legendary Super Saiyan aka the uh, le like the female version of Broly. That's why people call her female Broly because she transforms into Broly like so, so you know we kind of see Kale in the background like kind of hiding by some rocks as she uh, spies on Kaba and Khalifa's uh, training and I don't know if there's like a love triangle going on here I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that but it's very interesting as to why Kaba didn't include Kale because you know why not so I'm kind of thinking that Kale might actually go off on her own and obtain the form on her own instead of getting actual help from Kaba and I think that that will be revealed in the actual tournament. I think we're just going to go into tournament power and she's going to transform. Or she might even unlock the form at the tournament. You know, because I don't know, man. We actually got to see how the episode pans out next week because we really don't know. We have the preview, 30 second clips of what's going to happen. And uh, a lot of interesting things, like I said. Like, you know, we also have things about, uh, I think Krillin Android 18 might drop out. You know, like, I don't think they're going to drop out. I think it's just going to be like... Uh, just like a side story for that one episode, but they're gonna find a way to rectify the situation and get them back on the team. I think it's just like a little side thing. I don't really think they're going to drop out because we already have Majin Buu dropping out because he can't freaking wake up. That's already a thing. But we're also gonna have Krillin and Andrew 18 drop. That's okay. So I don't think they're gonna really drop out of the team. I really don't think so. I mean, I understand Buu. I can see Buu, but to drop so many members. Okay, so. If Android 18 and Krillin were to be dropped, who who would replace them? Who replaced them, I should say? Um, honestly, okay, okay. If they want to do that, bring PyCon. Yeah, bring PyCon. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Bring PyCon. 
technically he's okay people say he's canon not canon because he's not in the manga he's only canon to the anime but this is the anime we're talking about so it does fit i would love them to bring that man back like if they could bring back friggin frieza they could bring PyCon for for 24 hours come on baba you can do it i think that'd be pretty lit but we have to see what happens with that situation there uh with episode 92 coming up next week guys so freaking excited the first female super saiyan that is actually a full-blooded saiyan in the entire series wow now i'm very curious as to see how a female uh saiyan would fight you know like we got kind of a little uh clips of you know female saiyans when bardock that bardock special aired uh very small clips of what they can do but i've never seen a female go toe-to-toe -to -toe in an actual fight in dragon ball uh dragon ball z period much less a female super saiyan very interesting very uh excited man like holy shit like yo super is doing so many things right so many freaking things right the manga needs to like take a page from the anime because the manga has lately after, i'm actually reading the manga i'm actually uh following the manga as well because what's going on in the manga is not actually happening in the anime it's like almost two different stories like goku has this full power super saiyan blue form which is like what that's not even even hinted in the anime but he has it in the manga so the, you know the manga has some things going on that i'm not a fan of i'm really not a fan of but you know what that is that in the anime is what it is over here and i'm just excited to see what is happening with these next coming episodes i think we should actually get into the actual tournament of power the actual like all the teams are going to gather i want to say within the next three weeks you know they're pretty much have all the members we know frieza will make a return and be the 10th member i don't know what's really going to happen with android 18 or krillin i'm not exactly sure but very excited to see if they if they get replaced as well like i i'm just saying pycon i'm just saying pycon sell pycon sell please just just please like why not if please that has to happen if it if they're replaced pycon that's all i'm saying guys anyways female super saying yes yes <laughs> like share comment down below guys if you want me to do more super views discussions and things with super you have to let the boy know down below if you don't let me know, then how am I going to know that you appreciate this stuff and you actually want to see it? If not, then I'm going to take it as, okay, these people just want to see Doken Battle. We're just going to do Doken Battle. Nothing else but Doken Battle. Now I'm just kidding. I'm probably going to do more Super stuff because I like Super and I'm a fan of anime in general. I'm probably going to do more because I just feel like... There we go. <laughs> Anyways, like, share, comment down below. guys. see another video. Thank you all once again. Bye-bye.